All right, here's the TC Electronic Stereo Course Flanger. This is an older one, so late 70s, early 80s, uh, the Denmark version. Um, the finish is really matte, smooth matte black. So there's serial number 666. Everything functions as it should. It just has a little wear on the edges. It's used, of course. Um, the input gain works even when it's in bypass. So at about 12 o'clock, you get a little bit more than unity gain, but it's really clear. Um, anything past that is boost. So you can put this at the end of the signal chain and it really keeps your signal clear. Here's what it sounds like. It just gets louder. It's like a really nice clean boost. Turn it back to about 12 o'clock. It's pretty good. Right there. Engage it. This is the core setting. It's like two, four, and two. Uh, and then he runs this at the end of his clean signal chain, and he's running like an echoplex before that. So basically the delayed signal is going stereo to both sides to two different amps. And it sounds really lush. Um, here's the flanger. It's close to like that it, um, Eddie Van Halen, kind of like that Sammy Hagar kind of chorused out sound. Um, here's the pitch modulation. Um, speed is at 0 0.5, uh, 5, and 2. and let's hear what it sounds like with the speed all the way up, intensity all the way up, and width all the way up. So basically everything maxed out.
sounds but yeah usually I've just been using it at the 2, 4 and 2 setting and just because it sounds really nice like that chorused out it's subtle but it has that kind of pulse It's a bright sounding chorus. It's not one of those darker ones. I, I mean, if you're gonna do a dark chorus, uh, say maybe that Arion stereo chorus might be a better option. But if you're one like that chimey top end, where it's really like ethereal, uh, this is the one to get. <laughs> 